welcome back uh, to Create With Me. Uh, today I thought, um, last night I had the chance to uh, catch up on a few um, videos on YouTube and Yvonne Preston has um, done a great tutorial on getting a crackle effect for tags. So I thought today we would take that technique to do a journal cover because it's been a long time since I've um, you know, made anything uh, like this, so I was really inspired by what she had done, and the, the uh, result was absolutely beautiful. So let's just get started, and I'm going to put the link below to um, Yvonne's tutorial, and you guys can follow her, and we will just see how this is going to come out. Um, I think during the drying period I will, um, sorry this paper is really, really messy, but I know it's going to end up covered in glue, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick with it. Okay, so she had taken her PVA glue and put it on pretty heavy. I hope this is going to work because this is kind of a thin um, craft cardstock, but it's very lightweight. Um, I've got another one that's pretty thick, but I'm not going to use that one because it's almost too thick, I think. But she did say that you got to make sure you put this um, PVA really thick if you want it to uh, have that nice crackle. So hopefully it will come out as nice as hers. I've only ever used the um, Tim Holtz, uh, you know, you can get that crackle, oh, let me get it here and I'll show you what I'm talking about, this, um, crazing, and that's almost gone. I might as well finish that up today, too. Um, I've only ever tried that, and um, so I was really intrigued when I saw that you could do it this way. So thank you so much, Yvonne, for showing us. Because um, I think we've all got these products. She just took the PVA and um, a bit of acrylic paint. And it came out gorgeous, so I'm hoping that I will be so lucky. I might be putting this on too thick, I just don't know. I know she really emphasized that you got to have it um, quite thick if you want it to come out really, you know, the crackles. So anyways, I'm going to shut off, guys, so you don't have to listen to my um, heat gun. And all I'm going to do is heat this to the point... Um, she said to the point that it's a little bit tacky, not completely dry, so I will be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I did a little bit on this corner, and then I decided I'm going to try, and mm, I hope this works. I'm going to go with a little bit of this pale pink and see if this will work. I just don't know, but I thought it would be kind of cool if the... Um, if the craft shows through some, I don't know if it's possible. But we'll give it a try. And I'm not too sure. I hope I'm not putting this um, too thick. I think I may have in that corner. So just going to give it a try and see how it comes out. Okay, I think I'm going to try that and 
dry it and then we'll decide if, if, if we like it or not. Because I don't know. I really loved how hers came out. But I will be back. Okay guys, <clears throat> I've had time to dry that. It did take a little while, but I'm really happy with it. Um, it still feels, you know, like it should probably be left overnight before I carry on with the cover. But um, for the next step, I'm going to go ahead, but I'm just going to replace this paper because it's, it's covered in glue. Put down some more scraps I've got just to try to protect. I know that that's what this glass mat is for, but I'm just weird that way. <laughs> I don't like a lot of goop. <laughs> okay, so I think I've decided I'm going to use this napkin and try to get those images on there. Yeah, I think that's, that's the way I'm going to go with that. So, you guys know, this is my... Uh, This is, this decoupage is a super duper challenging for me, so. Let's see, I don't, I mean, I know <clears throat> you can take water to make this easier. I just don't have any in here at the moment. And I feel like you just can't be bothered to stop and go get some. Okay, and then I want to go ahead and decide on the placement of this one. I wish I really don't like to have the same image, but I don't really have any choice on this. So let me just see how I can do this. Gosh, it's been a long time since I've uh, done any of these kind of covers, and it's um, it's kind of nice to get back to doing something. A little bit different. I'm. I've got. Oh gosh, probably 14 of the uh, covers for the tomes. You know, the Nick the Booksmith. Because when I when I got the supplies, I had quite a lot. Oh, I didn't mean to wad that up. Um, you know, I had a, a lot to make, so. I've still got those left, but I'm just kind of taking a break from it um, because I'm just so burnt out on uh, the same style. Now, I really think I want to try to put a little bit more. I don't know. We're just going to play around with this and see. Okay, I really have got to get some... Um, because this is quite plain here. It didn't seem to crackle. I'm sure I did something not, not quite right there. Um, I've got to get myself some paint brushes um, because this is an old one I've had. Gosh, do you guys remember Donna Dewberry course? The one stroke painting? That's how old that brush is. Look at that. I bought that on, um, I believe she was on QVC in the U.S. That must have been, uh, to do. Well, I don't know. Maybe um, mid '90s. I don't know. And uh, it was funny because I've been, you know, moving around so much. I had all my stuff over at my uh, my dad's shed, and. Apparently, at some point, I had taken a toolbox and turned it into my little craft storage. So I was just plundering through a couple of years back on a clear, you know, another clear out, and I ran across that, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I got the Donna Dewberry!" And it even had some of the um, 
the books in it, but I um, I gave those to a charity shop and just kept the brushes because I remember the brushes were expensive when uh, when she was popular. So yeah, that was another of my little little bits of crafting. And I have to say, I have been trying to um, practice on some of the roses, but I'm terrible at it. And I don't know. You've got to be in the right frame, you know, mindset for these things, and I just cannot seem to get back into it. Um, oh, I like how that's come out. I, I think it needed that little extra, so I'm going to do the same thing over here. I just want to get this mixed up a bit more, especially on these areas that didn't... Um, crackle it's nice so yes I need paintbrushes so I'm going to have to add that to my list of things to try to pick up corner because this is going to be my front um, the front of the cover I think if all goes to plan oh lordy I didn't take the layer off of that dock on it well there you go live TV again Let's see if I can salvage it <laughs> Oh dearie. Pa. Look at that mess. Lord have mercy. No, nope, that's that's not gonna make it. See, look at this. This is I'm so messy when I get up in here. Alright, so let's try this again. See if I can get my head on straight this morning. I've had a pot of coffee, but uh I didn't know if I told you guys I had to switch over to decaf for reasons I won't bother to bore you with, but, um, yeah, that first week was rough, and I think I'm just now kind of getting back, because you probably have noticed I've been kind of out of it, and that hasn't helped, I'll tell you, man, that was hard to give up, but it had to be done. Okay. Let's see if I, I don't think I've taken the layers off of this one, have I? Did I already do that? Nope, I see them now. Um, so yeah, I don't know if, you know, when it's all done, I probably would have, you know, doing it again, maybe stick with the white. I just wanted to see if I would like the um, the pink, but um, I do, but I think I think the white is probably just a little bit nicer. Actually, I can see this brush is quite nice for the um, decoupage. I don't think I've ever used it, but it's very um, gentle. It seems to be working quite nice with that versus some of those others I've got. Okay, guys, let me heat. <laughs> let me put the heat gun on this, and um, and then I'll be back to show you. Okay, guys, there we go really happy with that <laughs> and so you know me um, it just is a bit too pink and I wondered what would happen if I put that on it and so I've done a little bit in the corner 
and I can just imagine some of you out there are screaming, oh my god, no, no, no. But i got to do it. I've just got to do it because I feel like that's just a bit too... I want it to be more vintage. And that's a bit too... Uh, I don't know. In your face pink. Oh God. Here goes. Let's say a prayer. I really, really hope I can do this. Let me think. I need something because if I... I'm afraid if I press on that, it's going to leave a big circle of dark, and I do not want that to happen. Oh, Lord, I wish I had my... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this lid, just because I can't be bothered to go downstairs. Oh, Lord, I hope I'm not going to screw this up. This video may never come to be... Yeah, it's coming out pretty dark. I don't know if I want it to be quite that dark. Oh, Lord have mercy. Maybe I should have just inked it. Yes, but you're probably, I bet that's what everybody was saying. Just ink it, Gina, ink it. But you know, I always have to to go a step further and see, is it possible? Now what what I'm I'm not even pressing down, it's just what's within that sponge that I'm because uh, I knew if I press it down on this it's gonna leave a big um, circle of dark. And all I'm wanting to do is just tone that pink down. See, I wish I hadn't gotten quite that dark on that, and that's, but that's on the back, so that's okay. But I just don't want it to be too grungy, because you know I'm not really into that. But it did, it did need toning down. That's a, that's for sure. But. Having said that, you could have probably, you can probably do this with the ink, guys. This is just me experimenting. But I have to say, so far, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. And the other thing about this is it's, it's going to give it another bit of protection. You know, another protective layer. So that's that's a good thing too. Just get that darkened up just a little bit more there. Let's see how I like that. How do we how what do you guys think? I'm pretty happy with it. As I said, you can see that was when I had first applied that and it's just a bit darker than I would have liked because it's almost covering that flower and I don't like that. But this I'm quite happy with there. I think that I think it needed it. Now you might disagree with me. And that's okay. I'm 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 fine with uh all of us having a different opinion about it, but I actually think it needed it. It was just too <coughs> pink, and that I think has aged that quite nice. And part two, you'll see what I'm going to do with this. Let me just put a little bit. Over that, just tone that a little bit more. Just gonna go around the edges just to make that even darker around the edges, just to frame it out a little bit. Oh, it's got a nice feel to it as well, so that's cool. That's what I like about um, this community. 
you know, you start off with one um, idea and then you end up, you know, kind of going off and doing your own little thing. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm, what I'm going to do now, guys, is just put this to the side and carry on with some other uh, projects I've got going. And then um, we'll come back and I will show you how I'm going to carry on with the rest of the construction of this. So um, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do check out Yvonne's tutorial. on. Um, she made some the tags and they are beautiful. Um, so, and I did have this other piece here. So I am going to carry on, this didn't come out as nice, so I'm going to carry on toning this down and then I'm going to cut this up into some tags. So, so do check out hers um, and I will be back with um, part two of this. So you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you soon. Bye!